Welcome back once again to another DF Retro PC Let's Play. And we're stepping into the world of Batman Forever. Why are we doing this? Because I picked up a copy of this game yesterday Activate. for very cheap, great condition, and I was curious, just how bad is this? Uh, to join me on this, we've got Audi over here. I really need to start rethinking every time you invite me down. So yeah, this is the infamous uh, Batman game. I think it's been covered by other, you know, I know AVGN talked about this, other no, places okay. have talked about this. It's not a good game, but the thing is, though, is uh, often when you have a game that's really not great on the consoles back then, the PC version can offer some interesting uh, differences, especially both good and bad. Maybe it's a better game. So let's let's skip this here. Right. So first of all, um, we're going to play a two-player game, cooperative. And I'm showing kind of the keyboard here because the the layout is crazy and I actually don't quite have it down yet. So that's why we have this trusty manual here because I actually need to look up the keys during the gameplay. Um, so I'm gonna use a keyboard, you're on joystick and uh, four buttons with the illustrious Gra Gravis gamepad, the PC gamepad from Gravis without the screw on joystick because you prefer just the D-pad. Yes, I prefer not to go into carpal tunnel. So time yeah, let's, let's jump into this madness, and this is just uh, complete insanity. Well, I'm noticing already though that uh, these sprites are way better than I remember on Wait. Super Nintendo. Yeah, so I, I kind of wonder like if this is um, designed actually for the PC in the first place. Weapon. The gaming means? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. I wish it was the Bat Pewter. The Bat Pewter? News monitor. So yeah, this is interesting. So this was uh, from Acclaim. Uh, it's obviously trying to capitalize on the uh, digitized sprite craze that Mortal Kombat helped begin. Right. And obviously Acclaim was the publisher of the console versions of Mortal Kombat. I saw Probe on the uh, opening and call Pro as well. Probe was involved in this as well. So kind of fits in with our uh, Mortal Kombat stuff lately. Exactly. So let's just get into it. Yeah, so it's based on Batman Forever the movie, which was not... Stop. The I'm a pretty big Batman fan, the comics. Uh, so you're Batman, and I'm Robin. Okay, we're off to a great start here. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm just getting a hang of the controls. So here. yeah, the default player one controls on PC involve using the uh, the number pad here and all the buttons around the number pad. And I'm using a slightly uh, shortened keyboard here on this retro PC, so all the page up, page down, everything is kind of moved above the keypad. So it's a little more awkward than usual. I'll take out Ned. You can see that very Mortal Kombat style uppercut though, without any blood, and also the animation's worse. I was going to mention because Mortal Kombat here. The controls though do not mirror Mortal Kombat. No. Because here you have the high kick, but to do the roundhouse kick, you usually go back and yeah. kick. Here it's forward and kick. That's bizarre. And then the punch, just low punch, forward and high punch. So. Okay. It uses a different... Uh, so also player. notice, uh, I've not really seen this before, your character model's solid, right? We can't yes. walk, we through, can't each walk other, through each other. <laughs> which is weird for a co-op game. It's usually not the case. I do recall that this game had like a versus mode sort of as well, like during gameplay, so you can't fight each other, uh, which makes no sense considering it's Batman and Robin. Oh, and then we have the Riddler with voice acting, which I just skipped. Okay. Well, the voices still play though, unfortunately. That is not Jim Carrey. Okay, so John is beating. Oh, uh, okay, so this is the infamous part uh, with the grappling hook. All right. This, so, is, this was, was always mentioned in the videos as being tricky, and I, this could be too difficult. So on this four bad controller, how do I do the? So hold on, let me try hook. this first here. Right. So I think on move over a little bit, so you can't. Oh. You actually have to get out of the way. So I think. It's very. So uh, that fires the grappling life. hook. So okay. wait, if I do. There we go. That's very organic the way it did that. So you have to press up and insert at exactly the same time and you get that. Now the Gravis pad. Uh oh, hold on. I got to take care of this guy. His name is Ty. Oh, okay. It's good to know. Ty's gone. All right. Now this is, we looked at this before starting, but okay, let's review. Um, let's see here. So good first of all, look at this, look at this thing. This is insane. Like this, they've got the, this is the moves list here, the default controls. It's insane. It's this gigantic table of nonsense. <laughs> also, like, look at this. Look at the, the, there's so many gadgets in here. Oh my like, God. Look at this. It's like three, three pages. pages of gadgets. Wait, no. 
There was one page before this too, right? Selecting yeah, it started, gadgets. So it's, it's three and a half. It basically. takes a page to set up what gadgets <laughs> are about, and then it has the okay. So anyway, uh, so we want to do fire grappling hook. So it says down towards oh, plus blue button for forty five degree, or down towards hold blue button plus up zero degree. Up. Oh, okay. Okay, so Good. it's basically like a kind of a fireball motion, but without the smooth. It's just down toward so down forward. Then you hit the blue button and you have to hold it. Up towards, yeah, oh my god. Okay, wow, this is insane. All right. So let's go this way. It couldn't just like allow us to push up and blue? I think we like, can kick, can we kick this? Yeah. All right. Oh, there was a guy in there. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the more common uppercut there too. It is, it's, it's really. It's not satisfying at all. It is interesting much like the rest see of the these game. sprites though. Like they do have more frames Oh, there's way more frames than animation than the other versions, I think. Yeah. And the detail, like the overall color palette, like I feel like this game was made for the PC and then kind of ported downwards. Well, it was, wasn't much further down. They have loading screens between each room. Okay. They do on the Super Nintendo too. Really? Yes. Great. They're longer, I think, even. I only played this on Super Nintendo back in the day. So we are playing this on my retro PC. Authentic. This is day. the, well, this is a little bit faster than this. This is a Pentium 3 500 megahertz right now. So this would have been like 98 era CPU. And um, an AWE or an AW32 sound card is in there. But this game uses CD audio soundtrack. It's not the best. So at least we have some parallax scrolling here. Music by Nubu Matsu. Also, it looks a little bit jittery on the capture because this uh, is a 70 hertz game, like most DOS games. Look at the transparency here. Yeah, the transparency is very strange. Maybe it's, yeah, it might be an incompatibility here. No, I don't know though. I mean, I, I looked this up when I first saw this to determine if other, like every other capture I've seen in this game has the same thing. Right. So either they're all on broken machines or it's just how, so we have to go down. Okay. Uh, how does this work? Hold on, move, move Robin, let me try. Okay, what does it say? All right, so let's see. For you, left control key plus down. Oh yeah, okay, so. For me, it's the blue button it says. All right. Well, this seems to be working quite well. Uh, yeah, see. That's right, this is the one that doesn't work. So I think it's actually another key. So I have to hold down and... Which one is it? There it is. Okay, so you have to hit down and end at the, exactly the same time. Now what about you? Hold on, let me look in the manual. This blue button. <laughs> it's just blue button. God. Wait, it just says blue button? There's got... There's more to this. Oh, I got it. What do you do? It. I double tap down, then press the blue button. Oh, that's right. See, the manual is wrong. And the manual is wrong about the keyboard as well. But the best part is that for down on player two, it's down, down, down plus, plus down. down. Okay. This, this, oh, there he is again. You have to have a master's degree in Batman to I play this game. I can actually get through this game. Man, this was... This game does has all the sins. Like it's all CGI looking backgrounds with like uh, pseudo realistic digitized sprites that like you know. Do we ever face more than one guy at a time? Uh, I think in the later stage you do. Oh, we have to go back again now. Do we have to go up? I hope not. That's the biggest challenge of this game is going up and down. So where do we go? Mm. I can't believe like the the game design of this game. The fact that you're constantly oh, there's a guy up there, you're right? You're constantly put in this situation. Um, All right, hold on, nope. There it is. This is so frustrating. Oh, oh there's two guys. There's two guys. I'm coming. All right, I'm here to help you. Take out Jeff. Okay. Oh, can't go that way. Can't go that way. I guess we go down again. Hold on, hold on. There's a door there, so it's probably gonna open, right? And it opens. Oh yeah. Kick, kick the it. door and it explodes. We go back again? Wait, why are we? Is this like a Metroidvania? Batman mania? Is this actually the same? Is like, is this where we? This is where we came from, right? Yes. You led us the wrong way, so Batman. So why did we go? This is very <laughs> confusing. Do we have to do this room again now? No. Uh, we have to go down, I'm sure. Okay, what was that again? Ah, uh, it's... 
You gotta do like a complex fighting game maneuver. <laughs> yeah, it's a, okay, I think it's um nope. Yeah, okay. Nope, not that way. Oh, they just walk into the There's wall. There's no oh. Okay. Okay. The creditor. So I funny Oh my god. Punched Lord. you back into he this room. He punched me back into this room. Oh, that's just awesome. Let's get away from that door. Wow, this is such a strange. So every every enemy has like a unique name. It looks like. Yeah, that's uh, dedication. So what's fascinating about I just I, for some reason I'm really fascinated with these weird DOS PC ports. Okay, boomer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why is this so frustrating? Okay. Wait, are we supposed to go down? Oh, are we? We're up. Oh wait, no. I just forward. Can you go forward? I don't know. Here, walk underneath me. Stop jumping. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, no. Oh, it was not down there. Did you do that automatically? Yeah. yeah so you're you... not supposed to go down. Or are we going do down at the same, same time. time? One, two, three, go. Oh my god, this is so <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> I hate this. Okay, no, not there. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Oh no, did you go back again? What the heck are you supposed to do here? Kick the wall maybe? No, it has to be, it has to be up, right? Let me try. Don't put up. It's so frustrating. I was doing it perfectly earlier. Maybe you can't. Try doing... It's in between the screws, it, it works. Okay. So it's a placement thing. Oh my god. I swear to god, you can't do it anymore. I mean, you're I'm seeing not, this, right? I'm not getting damaged. You are, just in real life. Oh yeah, I'm psychologically damaged from this. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Two grown men trying to play Batman, and it doesn't work. Oh my god. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we think we figured it out. We looked at the walkthrough. You are supposed to go here. The problem is, is you have to go down at the same time. But actually making that work is very, very difficult. So what I'm doing is, I figured I can still use the keyboard to control Robin at the same time. I figured out the controls on both and See, you have to execute at exactly the same time. But it's a, there's no indication of where you can go exactly. I can't, oh, okay, we did We're it, back. we did it. That was, that's incredible. That's one of the worst design sequences I've ever seen. Yeah, this is, this is god awful. You, by the way, that, that took about 10 minutes before we finally and got a lot to that of swear point. words and we still didn't really figure it out and no. just got lucky we just had to map everything we couldn't actually keyboard. do it with the gamepad that means you can technically play this game with one person two players though so that's a uh, new speed run for a gdq okay so we got through that this oh. area actually looks all right like the the shading and everything isn't horrible you lost your mind it's not that bad these games I really, man, I wanted to get through this game somehow. I don't know why, like, it's a weird obsession with, with uh, like, seeing why? bad games like, <laughs> yeah, well, to completion. You do know, John, that I am the one guy that loves bad games, but this, this isn't even fun, though. It's funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, they've got line scrolling on the floor. Yeah, they still have unique names. I'm uh, very impressed by that. That's the most impressive thing in this game so far. But there's an entry for unique want, names on each character. I can't tell if this game runs too fast on this computer, if it's just supposed to be kind of like this. I think it's supposed to be like this. Do you think it matters? No. Love that line scrolling though. I really wonder how many people actually got this far playing the game normally because... You mean the first stage? Yeah. <laughs> Only because like the actual act of it. So, you know, like I said, everybody's joked around about the grappling hook and everything. Sure. 
but like the act of going down and the the, the follies of playing in two player mode this is new to me it's even worse than i imagined oh we actually beat Wait, the first level you beat you can beat a level this is incredible uncharted territories we didn't find any blueprints though i don't know what they do selected Let's just skip that nonsense. The bat pewter. The bat pewter. Oh, we have a cutscene. Yeah, Some these CGI. are certainly not in the. These are exclusive to the uh, PC version. Yeah, and they're interlaced, so it's going to look amazing on YouTube. I'm sure. I might have to zoom in. Wow. So, Great that. So you assume that the rendering they did for these cutscenes is, the, you know, based on this well, what they did in the in background. I would, it would have been cool if the backgrounds had been presented in a higher res on the PC, like 640 by 480. Right. That would have made it the best version of the game. Maybe it already is. Well, in terms of technical makeup, it probably already is. It's interesting to see the sprites in this high quality, though, because yeah, on the, the other Drive versions, and SNES, it looks awful. Fewer frames of animation, fewer colors. Oh, I can glide, too. It's like Bubsy. How did you glide? I just pushed up again, like it's oh, a double dump stream. That looks horrible. That kind of looks like you're on a toilet when you're gliding down. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's a flying toilet. Do it again. <laughs> a bat dump. The game. Look at all this foreground stuff they, they threw in there too. The parallax yeah. scrolling. That's just, uh, it actually gets in the way. Yeah, this is, uh,. What a strange game. Uh oh. See, it's amazing that the biggest flaw of this game seems to be the, this going up and down business. Oh, that's what we have to do? It's not the door? Oh, okay. maybe. No, no, you're right. Nope. You can break the plants. See, like, so you get here, there's no indication, like, all right, you just know that you have to go somewhere, so you just have to start, like. I feel like on the console oh, there, there we was. Go. See? Oh, no. Oh, if you do it on this stage, then I do it automatically. Yeah, but only going up. Yes. Well, we don't know yet. It's true. It's just that one area where you have to get down at the same time. Maybe they didn't finish the programming on the first stage. They were so excited to just keep going on this game. Saber. Is that your favorite Batman character? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. Did we just do I think we Guess did? Guess what? We have to use the glide. Oh no. Just finicky to pull off. Oh. Yeah, you do it. Because I certainly can't with the gravis pad. There you go. Okay. Oh my god. See, this this is going to be interesting. Wow. It, it, are you sure? Are we not supposed to use the grappling hook for this? Alright, let's. Oh! No. no, it's not. Okay, so you can jump on top of that, but. See, we can't both stand on there at the same time. So if you start gliding now, I have to come right after you and... No! Oh my god. Okay, it was fine. One of us, <laughs> only one of us had to make it. <laughs> That's what's in... I... The combat, no Samurai problem. Show. It's everything oh regarding, god. like, a traversal. Like, gliding, climbing, you know, going down. Like, those simple maneuvers are unbelievably complex. If you think oh, look at that. Wait, I just realized that this, is, this game was essentially Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, <laughs> but worse. <laughs> worse? <laughs> oh. Okay, so we... Are we going up or down? That's, see, this is all, all around. Well, where are we going? It's always the guess. It's like, alright, so can we go up? Because if you can go up, it's never usually clear, like... Oh my. Yeah, and I can't even do okay, it anymore. About, like, Let's try. There it is. Oh no. Are you... It's this again. No, it, 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 I hope not. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, you, you do it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. But this is the beginning again. Well, where else are we supposed to go? Holy crap, Batman. Um... Why is he so hunchback? Look at him. He's walking with power. Look at, look at Batman's walk. <laughs> yeah, so it's... He's just having a jolly good time. Doesn't even look like. Oh wait, the door is open. Doesn't even look like they're connected to the floor. No. That's uh, uh, it's like Final Fantasy VII at the Shinra headquarters. Okay, cool. We get 
We get a, an elevator sequence. It's great. Without enemies. That's kind of atmospheric and cinematic, though. Yeah, it's that like was the cool. movie. Yeah, it's the exactly. best part of the game so far. Oh, to get to the bottom, oh I hate these clues. Grapple with the... Grapple with the Look at this. So we got to go up and down and use the grapple along the way. Like, that's what the Riddler's saying. That's actually... You know what? Maybe all these these issues are like supposed to be Riddler puzzles. Remember the whole game. Batman, <laughs> Even the down. controls. The, the controls control is part are... of the puzzle. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to fight this guy behind the pillar. <laughs> Why do we? Uh, do you know how frustrating it is for me to like explain to my friends when I go home? It's like, what do you do when you're at John Lindman's? Do you discuss the PS5? Like, you know, the latest releases? Like, no, I play Batman Forever and Streetwear. <laughs> <laughs> I just waste my time and my money. Oh my god. It's oh, behind the pillar. <laughs> Okay, well, we can assume that we have to go up now. Okay. Hold on. You do it. Okay, but not there. Maybe, not there maybe down. You think it's down? Through the floor? I don't know. Nope. I seem to recall on the uh, console, I might be wrong, but insert a comparison screen here. I think there's reflection on the floor on the console version. Did you just say graphic. insert comparison here? Yeah. As if I have to play through that first stage of the console you do. version to get here? I don't think so. <laughs> I just made that possible. What? I exploded something in the ceiling. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. Games don't matter anymore. This game teaches you some lessons for sure. <laughs> yeah. Be careful what you wish for. I'm sure a lot of YouTube you know, people are like, oh, I, wish, I wish I could hang out with John Lennon for a weekend. No. Nobody, Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. I regret it every time. This, this big box release was very cheap, but not even... Not cheap enough. No. Uh -huh. Not only that, we're sitting in a room <laughs> with like the greatest treasure game he has to offer. Radiant Silver Gun, all the treasure games on Mega Drive. We just went to a game store yesterday. We're like, yeah, look at this election here. It's great, isn't it, in Germany? But no, no. You pick up this. This is what I, you buy. I got, got Spider-Man as well for the... Uh, Atari 2600. Uh, for the, uh, the Mega CD. Oh, that's right. The Amazing Spider-Man versus Kingpin. That's actually that's a Eric game. Martin in it. Mm -hmm. I, I love Eric Martin. This, though... I'm just fascinated with this port, that's all. Well, and Okay, uh, time to come I'm clean. glad you're so, doing one. I purchased this game for uh, a childhood friend back in the day. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was a it was a gift. So you don't want to be his friend anymore. Then. Oh, I apologize to them. <laughs> it was uh, not the best, not the best thing. I should have mentioned there was another Batman Forever game, the arcade game. Yeah, Batman Forever the arcade game, which I right. also had on PlayStation. I have it on Saturn because it runs yeah, on the STV board, game. so mm -hmm. it's uh, it is the Sega Saturn arcade hardware. That's like a side-scrolling brawler, yeah. uh, and it's, a, it's significantly better than this. Way better. Yeah. What else was on the STV? Was Final Fight Revenge? Or yeah, but yeah. like you know, Radiant Silver Gun was on there. Oh yeah. Plenty of other games. Hmm. Well, no, let's keep playing this. This is fine. This is the best way to spend our Sunday. Oh my goodness. Nemesis. Maybe Alex and Neil will want to play this game. Yeah, up there. Hmm. But look at how fluid these animations are, John. This is so fascinating. Like, yes. Oh, the door opened. These elevator sections are my favorite because I don't have to do anything. <laughs> look at him in the, in the elevator. <laughs> We're just driving. It's hilarious. This is how we actually stand next to each other in real life, too. Come see us this E3. We'll be in costume. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh, there, there's the... <laughs> I am kind of like the Thank Burke Ward. Thank you, Batman. Ward of... <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's very happy. I have become the Burke Ward of the DF Retro, I suppose. That sidekick <laughs> that, that no one true. remembers. 
<laughs> oh, wait, it's Faust. Do you remember Faust? It was a uh, oh, yeah. interesting you know, comic book. <laughs> and I think they made a movie of Faust as well. I'm really not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Can't tell what's going on. Oh, coyote and Leith. Or Laugh? I don't know. Sledge. Do so you think that all these characters have, like, backstories? Yes. Oh, you think there's, like, a Bible the, somewhere? The like game a Bible. Bible yeah. I'm sure there's a game Bible. Written by John Tobias? No. Okay, so now we have to go up or down. Or is it the elevator again? That's the thing. You know, my, it's probably the elevator. Doesn't matter. There is some parallax scrolling here. Yeah, there's been plenty actually. No, oh, I sorry, like sorry. The best part of the I've been game. closing my eyes the entire time. Here we go. The elevator goes up. Yeah, I was scared it was gonna go down and take us back again. Oh my goodness. This is like a Metroidvania. No, it's not. We're not it's a Batman. Yes, we're not. Early. We're not revisiting the same floors. We're not. All right. Up. I suppose. Not yet. Can you believe how dark this is? What life? Or the this game? game. Void. You know, apt name. Apt name, sir. Oh, Phantom. Chaos. Control. It's a, that's a CDI game, isn't it? Chaos some, you need to be oh, I was thinking of Sonic. Oh. You're thinking of good games? How yes. could you? How could you betray us like this? Viking? What cameo? Okay. <sighs> it's probably oh, he's probably the elevator. It's again. Tarantula. Is that your favorite Batman character? Killer Croc or Tarantula? Which tarantula. One? Okay. Here we go. I love how Robin walks. He's just not having a good day at all. Are you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's only 10 a.m. This is fantastic. You woke me up at 7 a.m. Let's play some PC games today. All right. <laughs> I had a bad feeling. You usually don't wake me up unless there's something bad. Either someone died or we have to play these games. This is better than Street Warrior. You know what? Yeah, it is. Like You might be right about that. Like, at least it's more entertaining. But well, the music in Street Warrior was better than this. The music in this is like, oh, wow. Whoa. You know, I don't, I don't think I ever played this far even on the console versions. Whoa! I think I just I died again. How the heck am I losing so much life from this? I day? haven't been paying attention. No, it doesn't matter. Keep There's going. Here. Keep doing happens. your thing. So this is probably the most impressive part we've seen yet. What is he actually standing on, though? Uh, Why is it going so fast? Yeah, I thought it was like a construction thing. Yeah, but, but it's, no, it's look at not. the speed at which it's moving. It's I think it's supposed to be a scaffolding thing for like washing windows. But oh, how, yeah. how 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 tall are these buildings? Where are they coming from? Yeah, it's like it's like Spider Man. Like he's going all over, and they're dropping from above. Oh, oh, okay, abruptly finished. Oh, oh, cutscene. Look at this helicopter. He's just styling. Can you actually fly a helicopter like that? Is that crazy? Yes. Why is the Statue of Liberty in Whoa. Gotham? This is... We did find some blueprints, though. Good job, John. Wow. Okay. Oh. I hate this. Oh, you don't even come back? I guess not. Alright. Keep going. Do the bat plug. I wish it continue. You wish? I said I wonder. Oh. Oh, is, didn't, didn't we just watch this? No. Oh. There's Union Terminal. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, we're at the circus? Is this a new movie? No, it's not. There's a time limit. Is... Oh, so this is a bonus stage or something? Or is it a bomb stage? No time like the present. The present is time. The clocks are your allies in your fight against crime. This, this stage then, because you know, Dick was a uh, I've never actually seen circus family stage guy. Before. Yeah. So is this meant to be like a flashback to his childhood? Is it like meta? No. So it's, no, it's it, not. It, actually, I I can't remember. The, is this from the film? There there is a circus scene to yeah. show his uh, parents dying. But they were lucky enough to not witness this game coming out. 
Where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait. Can you do the uh, grappling hook for me there, sir? Oh, the grappling hook? Yeah. I don't know about that. Straight up. Uh. Oh, yeah. Nope. You go to the, like, bar there. There has to be... Kick him down. Oh, there you go. Are you kidding? Like, this okay. design is like, unbelievable. As long as... Okay, so I can probably go here. Try here. We have to be like the precision two required. I <laughs> just did one move. This is the worst game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do I go? Yeah, try again. Let's keep going up. Okay, so, you so it's not there. Well, I'll, I'll try uh, toilet gliding over here. Zero. It's not there. Can you leave the room? Oh, is that it? Oh, oh no. There's a clown down here behind the pillar. No. Okay, here. Uh... Oh, okay. So they just keep coming. Here. I'm happy to help. You're the best friend I've ever had. This is incredible. Okay, let's take a cutter, make some roundhouse kicks. Yeah, so Probe made this. So, obviously they took what they learned from Mortal Kombat and didn't apply to this game. Clearly. This, this is a really baffling game, honestly. Just, it's existence at all. Oh. There's a bat thingy there. Maybe it's a blueprint. Unfortunately, I recharge my life. Okay. We'll just keep going. Have we ever used the the uh, sort of the angle shot? No, not theory? not yet. Okay. So there's no indication of what to do. Oh, no, that's fine. If I, if I die, I'll, I'll be happy. I'm not so, talking about the game, by the way. So yeah, this this whole thing. Oh, what it, you know, it is neat to see these things somehow. Man, the screenshots actually make it look pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it's like. Yeah, they look much more crisp and clear, don't they? As if they were taken with a camera. Off of a monitor. Yeah, wow. That really makes it seem... Whoa, okay. It actually says armed with over 125 incredible attacks. You just can't perform any of them. 100? <laughs> it's all the gadgets, 25 too. 25. 20 of those are gadgets. It's like a Tattoo Assassins, you said, with like the 600... Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, Tattoo Assassins has like 100... Yeah, it's like 400 fatalities, I 400 think. 400 fatalities. Can't be beat. We've just given up on life here. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Game over. Oh, Lord. Really, that's it? Yeah, that's it, John. That's it for me. Okay, well... Uh, that was terrible. That was even worse than I expected, honestly. Um, but, but was it better than the console versions? I, Insert comparison screens all over here. We'll have to, and we'll do some compare. There will have been some comparisons, I think. But that's going to do it for this random episode that I just felt like recording because we just opened this thing. And, well, it's terrible. So, uh, yeah. So thanks for suffering through with me here. And until next time, this is John and Audie signing off.